There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Tune into Jewelry Maker every day at 5 p.m. for our Miss It Miss Out show, where we'll have four hours of jam packed deals including clearance offers, end of line, last in stock and low, low prices. The Miss It Miss Out Show, only on Jewelry Maker. It's a brand new kit. 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 Yeah! <laughs> The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Hi, welcome back. Now, Alison won't mind because I've just asked her no, nicely. No. Um, a little cheeky extra. I just didn't fit in. We didn't. Oh, I just didn't see them in time. <laughs> I just want to do this sterling silver of 20 pairs of earrings. So these are, I, I've had this morning the antique copper and uh, the, the, the sort of silver plate, but not the sterling silver. We were just mm. talking about the quality of all that beautiful silver plate wire that you could incorporate, as you said this morning, the, yeah. uh, the earrings and stuff, your findings. And uh, what we loved about these was the size of the butterfly backs are really, Really ample and lovely long studs on the earring post as well. So just look at those. Look at the teddy bears. Oh, you see the teddy bear ones. They're teddy so bear gorgeous. ones. So for her first pair of earrings, I mean, you might give it as a christening present, but you may not necessarily, you know, until she's a little bit older. Yeah. You know, it's a lovely christening gift. So it's the teddy oh, bear butterfly backs with the sterling silver ball um, studs. So, you know, I know you made a teddy bear. Did you make I a teddy did, bear? did, yeah. Oh, look. So lovely and long, ample silver there, double trouble. So 20 pairs, sterling silver earring posts and the butterfly backs. And just making one of those little silver wire harps because um, Alison's done these beautiful harp earrings. Look at those. How amazing are these? You could do a smaller one. You could just hang mm. it off the bottom of your sterling silver post there your little trumpets with your sterling silver wire or maybe a key you know 18th you could do like a little key a uh, little key to the door or you know for the 21st they have the keys don't they as well yeah, yeah. traditionally or you just passed your driving test or i don't know maybe a little i don't know i'm being adventurous and making a little house i don't know it could be just the shape it doesn't have to be the whole 3d image no, couldn't no, it? just no, be a little no. charm or with that silver wire the, the first letter of their name Beautiful. So 20 pairs, sterling silver, BQG C74. Let me t turn over the teddies again because they're beautiful. It almost seems a shame to put the back on and hide them, doesn't it? <laughs> you they're could just use so those cute. as little charms, actually. You could change you? it around, couldn't you? What a good idea. Just sew them on. Them up. <laughs> yeah. You could have a little bracelet made up of those going all a the way around. That'd be so cute. Let's just wire wrap our teddy bears. Yeah. Exactly. We're not making earrings now. We're going to wire wrap them round. <laughs> We're going to use uh, 20 pairs for an amazing price. <laughs> Oh, for sterling silver, 99p a pair. Wow, that's good. 99p a pair. 20 pairs. 
You, tell, where do you get sterling silver studs for 99p a pair? Well, you don't. You exactly. Don't. And I, I, I quite often, I do most of mine with, with shepherd hooks, but I do get people asking, and it's so handy to have them to say, well, we can change them. So, yeah. you know, I've had a few people say, oh, I love those, but I'd li I'd, I only wear studs. Not uh, a problem. Yeah, brilliant. Just I don't want to wear the I want the studs. Yeah, two minutes and you swap them over. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. A pound a pair, 99p a pair. And these are genuine, solid sterling silver with those lovely little bear butterfly backs. So tw 20 bears, if you like. 20 <laughs> pairs, one pound a pair. We love them, sterling silver. Right, I've interrupted you too oh, long. You're fine. I just I thought want to make a bear bracelet I know, now. I know, I want to make a bear bracelet as well. It's just gorgeous. Um, right, I've been wearing that beautiful musical note bracelet that you made for us. Uh, but you've also made those harp earrings and they, look at that. I mean, the, the art of playing the harp is, is actually just, you don't see it so much nowadays, do you? It's just such a, a talent. A friend's daughter actually plays the harp. Oh, it's amazing. Um, and apparently that's a Welsh harp. Oh. Now, now I am Welsh, so it does fit. Okay. But apparently it's all to do with the stringing. Apparently I've really? had an education lesson. Oh, well, Thank you very what much, would be Robin. the difference between that and, and, and a... I have no idea. It's something oh. to do with the way they're strung. Okay, apparently. there we go. And, and I did a Welsh one, apparently. <laughs> and there's our earrings to match. Yeah. And then we both have the same idea here. With your bracelet, you could actually musically denote I don't know happy birthday or um, it just slides off it just slides off there we okay. go you could, if you know you were looking you said for some musical notes but you could actually it could say it could be ha you know happy birthday happy anniversary with the actual notes itself how beautiful is that isn't you, that gorgeous hair pieces yeah oh yeah you could have it anywhere across you, the hair yeah. yeah you could go to town with this I could, I could have spent That'd the last two weeks since I've had had the kit just doing lots of different musical things. I, I could have gone mad. It's and I had fantastic. plenty of wire to do it with. There we go. Your, your, your semi quavers, you've your, got your, your treble clefts, you can do all, your bass clefts, you can do it all there for, for the earrings. And I thought with those, you could, you could change them up so you wouldn't have to wear the clefts together. No. Or you could make two the same, or you Beautiful. could have a note and a clef, or. And again, look at the necklace as well. Beautiful, Alison, absolutely inspired, my darling. I had fun with this. Did have fun with this. Isn't that gorgeous? So an actual bit of the, the musical notes there, just gorgeous. Now, as you can see, the, predominantly what Alison's used is the um, antique bronze wire. So we're gonna get a, a fantastic, sorry, darling, bundle up on that. I'm making a faff of that, aren't I? Um, let me just put your harps oh, back. Spent. So let me bring you antique bronze coloured wire and then we can move on to your demonstration. We've got the one millimetre, 10 of that. We've got the 0.4 and the 0.6 gauges. And that's what you've used in your designs, isn't it, Alison? It is. So the one millimetre gauge, the 0.6 and the 0.4. So 200 metres and 10 of the one millimetre thick. Yeah, so 100 of the 0.6, 100 of the 0.4, and then 10 of the one millimetre. Now we should be paying 40 pounds, 35 pence. But because Alison has inspired us so magnificently, we want to inspire you and give you great savings. And actually, this is what you used on the back of your guitar. It is, yeah. Which was so a bit of a cheat, there was a mix of the rows, and I liked it though. It, oh, it, yeah. Twenty four ninety five instead of forty pounds thirty five. So massive saving there. Big savings to be had. And this is some of the inspirational pieces you can make out of it. I know she'll never come back again, will you? When you see these prices, she'll say, "Oh my hard work!" And they just give it away. Right, my darling. What are we going to look at? Right. Well, should we start with a harp? Let's start with a harp. We'll start with a harp. A uh, Welsh harp. A uh, Welsh harp, yes, indeed. <laughs> the the way you make them is the same for the ah, earrings or for that, and okay. you can make them to whatever size. Uh -huh. um, the difference is literally the size you do it, and then if you want to strand it or not. You could have strand, strunded, stranded those as well. Strung. I was trying to say strung. Right, so for the bigger one, I've done five uh, strands of wire, and they're fairly long about 12 inches ish 20 yeah. centimeters ish yeah something like, like that 20, yeah uh where did i put my snips mm. ah. okay 
Oh, excuse me a moment. Okay, so we're I on our uh, beading tray. I'm not you used were so to busy with up. the Amazonite <laughs> and your frosted quartz, the I challenge was. I gave you. I was. I'm not. I'm not used to to uh, being tidy. Right. So we want five, and you want them fairly straight. So I do straighten these out. Two. I'm, I'm just roughly cutting them. It doesn't matter because you'll you'll even them out. If you wanted to measure them against each other, okay. I'm just uh, right. So we need our five strands to do the back bit. Uh -huh. I have no idea what you call pieces of harps. I'm very sorry. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not even going to pretend to know. The wiggly bit across the trough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Do apologise, I'm not trying to offend anybody. So you need five strands for that bit. We need one strand to go up the column. And we need initially one to go across the bottom. And we'll do the little standy bit after. So we'll get our... Someone will text us in and tell us. Oh, hopefully. Harvest. I spy a gizmo. <laughs> OK, and that's only a smaller one. Thank you. Right, so to start off with, I just needed a simple loop at the top. And this is literally just to stop things falling off. Right, and again, I've flattened it so that it's not sticking out. We want some separators. Now, on the earrings, I've used the beads. On the stand-up one, I used some of the antique bronze uh, beads that came in the oh, finger yes, kit. Oh yes, yes. Um, unfortunately I've used all those so we'll use these beads. It doesn't matter what beads you, you use, you just need to separate it. Okay. Okay. So you need a loop at the end of, whoops, straighten it and then bend it again. <laughs> a loop at the end of each of these. And I haven't, I've left, I've Kink that one back so that it's like an eye pin. And I've left that one so that it's coming underneath, for want of a better word. I get yeah. you, yeah. And I'll bring the beads up in a moment, Alison, because okay. uh, I've got those in the copper oh, findings. The, oh, Sorry, friends. the bronze, antique yeah. bronze findings we're talking about. Yeah. So, literally, want five loops on the end of these. Okay, so five loops. So half the stock of the bronze wire has actually been allocated uh, for the antique bronze wire. And I love uh, the antique bronze. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. I mean, you've got the 0.4, the 0.6, yeah. the one millimetre there, gorgeous. But again, you see, I mix them. I yeah. love mixing the colours. Yeah. Antique bronze with copper and gold. Oh, it's oh, the triumvirate, it's isn't it? Beautiful. It's the tricolour, isn't it? But they blend so nicely. Mm, mm. Or I like this with the, um, and I never say it right, I always get shouted out, chartreuse. Chartreuse, chartreuse yeah. Um, wire. Well, yeah. with a lot of wires this goes with. Well, that always reminds me of chocolate eclairs. So. <laughs> I just go pistachio green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chartreuse. Chartreuse. So that's actually a bit right. like this colour, really, isn't it? Of, of the it, gemstones. It is. Are, um, I think they're um, agates, but I'll double check that. No, uh, I think these are peridot. Oh, is that peridot? And our, the, the other ones are. Those are agate, yeah, yeah. I think. We'll double check, because sometimes we get our green onyx, it can be. Right. The peridot is a beautiful. Oh, no. Double, we'll double check. We'll double check so I get the carrot weights for you as well. So this is going to be our base bit. We put one on. Now, I found some of these were a little bit tight to go over the 1.0. They go, and that one's going to slide straight on, which means the next one won't. All I did was got my reamer out of the kit yeah. and just reamed it a little bit, and they went on no problem. So we'll see. So our peridots, they are the 45 carats of peridot, 4 millimetres. And actually, it's green coloured quartz. Oh, this yeah, one? Yeah, the dark oh, the big ones. ones. Yeah, yeah, the big ones. They are 90 carats, so I'll, I'll get those up for you in a moment. They're both now. beautiful colours, and they go well together. So you're just threading those onto I'm the one millimetre? I'm just threading them on. Now, like I said, I had to ream some of these. Yeah, because they're four millimetre gemstones, aren't they? So yeah. you just need to... They, they did go. Well, yeah. as you can see, they did go. Um, oh, so they're natural gemstones. Sometimes the hole yeah. is slightly larger than others. Can, or... I, can I pinch out of your kit instead? Yeah. The little, the little round beads? Yes, Otherwise, you don't want to sit here while I'm, I'm reaming. Okay, darling. 
So what, 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 what we'll actually do is I'll get I'll get these up. There they go. Is that is that them? No, it's those ones. There they go, darling. There you go, thank you. Shall I get these up, uh, Philip? If that's all right. So we'll get the peridot up, and I'll get the green quartz. Um, She's that's gemstones. We've got them there, and I, I've also got the findings um, in the in the bundle as well. Yep. She's having guest designer trouble. That's all right. <laughs> And so you, you are getting your chain, your antique bronze ribbon ends, the, the beads that Alison's working with, your bead covers, your eye pins, head pins, the peridot, the green coloured quartz, crimp covers, the toggle. So all of those antique bronze findings as well as the peridot and the quartz. And I had tons left over. Should be paying 15.85. Now this is what Alison used with the antique bronze wire in her designs for all her musical themed designs but not today that peridot is glowing so two gorgeous gemstone strands plus all the antique bronze plated copper findings 11.95 and it works so beautifully with all the antique bronze wire offer that we gave you so you, you got a good uh, 20 pounds saving on the wire so put that towards Put that towards, you know, your gemstones and the findings, and you're still making savings. Well, look how much jewellery I got out of that. Well, I know. Should we just count? Um, and I've got that much left one, of that two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of jewellery, a stand-up harp, and, uh, well, there's loads left. And, and tons. Yeah. Tons left over of the beads, and, and most of the findings kit. Yeah. Absolutely loads left. I <laughs> got all that out of it. Massive Saturday savings. So, uh, you know, if we, we had the time, we would have made it even more. So there's loads that can be made out of this, as well as all the savings that you're getting. So the wires at the bottom of the screen, 24 95 and, of course, your gemstone, your peridots, and your green quartz, and then the antique bronze copper findings, 11 95 Should have been, I think it was 14 95 for that uh, originally. But Saturday savings, PEGC 37 See, I fancied doing, um, if I'd have had the time, uh, the charm bracelet yeah. with larger versions of the notes as a charm necklace. Oh, yeah. See, you could do, I knew there was loads enough to do it, but I didn't Beautiful. have time. <laughs> it, it wasn't stuff that was the problem, it was time. <laughs> right. right, so I've trimmed that down. I've put them on. I've gone long one bead, long one bead, long one and short one, and I'll show you the other side in a minute bead long one bead long one and I'm going to cap turn the end just loop it the same as I did the last one so bend it over and just loop it round all that does is stop them coming off uh -huh. that's all that's there for right so you've got your ones that are going to go up there and you can see the shape coming already. Yeah. And the one that's coming up that way. Ah, your short one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, these cross, you want them to come narrower at the top because they have a, a big wide base and then they come narrower. What I tried to do, when you turn them round the corner, when you turn them round the corner, um, you need them to sit flat the other way. So what I tried to do was to sort of turn them so that they were in a reasonable order, but it doesn't really matter. You've just got to squash them. So we've got our beads. Mine aren't 100% straight, so you want to spend a little bit more time making sure those are straight. Okay. And then we go to our 0.4, or our bit box, but you need a bit bigger of a bit. <laughs> Pull off, I don't know, 10 centimetres or so, because you want a decent wrap. And then you're going to wrap around this bit really tightly because you want to hold it together and then you're going to bend it. So leave a bit on that end and then carry on along the bottom. Okay. Don't worry about that bending, we'll straighten it afterwards. You have to put it on to begin with. Yeah. Because you can't undo it to put it on afterwards. Okay. Okay, so you get your flat bit going that way. And then we're going to take all these 
I would just flatten them a bit like that. And now this is quite tough. So you're going to bend. If you do them one, at, you can do them one at a time, mm -hmm. but it's harder to get them all equal. Um, if you can do them or get a partner or someone else, because it is quite tough because you're bending five strands of yeah, one mil wire all yeah. at the same time. So, so once you've got it bent and these are now flat the other way, so you've basically turned the wire through mm. 90 degrees. Yes. Then wrap flat, wrap it flat and squidge it so that it helps keep it flat. Once you've gone round the corner. Push it back together to make sure it's tidy. And then I'd give it a good old squidge. Now you should have used your nylon pliers. <laughs> Don't do as I do. Okay, so we've got a squidge there. We've got it going down. We then need to bend it coming back up and have our kink. So this is gonna be an even bigger one. Okay, so there we can now see the heart shape. shape. Lovely. Okay, like I say, I'm gonna waste some there rather more than I should have. However, they'll do for scrolls on a different project. Uh, exactly, in our bit box. <laughs> in our bit box. So, we're going to trim all these to the same length. Now, keep hold of them because they will fly away and don't try and do all of them at once. Oops. The dogs get used to me and, and if they hear a ping, they run for cover. <laughs> okay. I'm not quite level. You trim those so that they're all level. Yeah, Take a gotcha. little bit more time than I have. In fact, I will. Hey, that way, Sorry. that way, you're all right. <laughs> Duck! <laughs> yeah. Duck! Right, you're now going to put a loop on each one. I keep it as tight to the end of the pliers as you can. Bend it round and then kink it back so that it's um, like a head pin an eye pin, okay? So each one, you've got enough give in this to, for them to pull apart a little bit, but don't bend them too much. You want it to retain that memory of where you've put it. So basically you want them all to line up because you're gonna put a wire through it. I'm just going to let everybody know, because I was reading a bit strange, that at the bottom of the screen it is referring to the antique bronze coloured copper wire. I know it's saying the copper coloured wire trio, but it is actually referring to the antique bronze coloured copper wire. I'm sorry if that reading that is a bit confusing. Um, yeah, could have been better named as it were, but it is referring to the bundle Allison's working with um, there, the point four, the point, what was it again, the point six, the point four and um, 10 meters of the one millimeter. So that is the bundle there, the antique bronze. Just wanted to clarify that while you're just doing your, your hoops, you get them all lined up there. Yeah. Right. So you've got your wires, make sure they're the, oops. Behave yourself. Those two have crossed and don't want to uncross. There you go. Right. They all want to be in the same order they were before, okay? Measure this, see how long you're gonna need. You want to have, now <laughs> I make my loops in fingers, so I know a half a, half a thumbnail is quite a small um, loop, a okay. full finger, and I've got big fingers, uh, so okay. it's quite a big loop. That's your so measurement. It, it depends what you want at the top. You could do a nice coil at the top yeah, if you wanted. Yeah. You you could you could play about with that. I've kept it as a simple loop. You could put a bead in that. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm going to make it about that big. Right. Now for this bit. We're going to use the gizmo. Okay, now and this is perfect. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Alison. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. Because um, I have a gizmo <laughs> right here, ready to show everybody. So let me just move. This is a perfect point. Then you wouldn't think we worked together long, <laughs> would you? Um, this is my coiling gizmo. So I'm going to bring it up now. 
And this is exactly the stage at which Alison is going to use the coiling up the, the back, I suppose, of the, of the, well, yeah, of the, the columny bit. Yeah, of the half itself. So this is our wire coiling gizmo with all the different diameter crank rod dimensions, 1.2, 1.6, 3.2, 4.2, and 5.2. And that literally allows you to get a wider or a thinner gauge. So it's this effect on your, it's this effect on your designs. And this is the deluxe coiling. So it gives a really tight coil, creating almost like a bar of wire that almost looks like a solid mm. bank, doesn't it? Um, thank you, Alison's got two here, smaller, and you can see the different gauges. It's really strong and it does have that malleability. It's almost like a, well, it's like a tight coiled spring and this mm. is the deluxe one. Do you use it a lot, Alison? Do you, I, um, I do use a gizmo. I, I love the gizmo because it's, again, it's a versatile tool. You can use it for things like this and the two, the earrings and this have got different size um, coils on oh, them. Oh yes, because yes. Because they, they had the slightly earrings. finer one. Yeah, the finer one we just showed you there. You, you can change it with um, thicker wire. This is 0.6 wire. If you did it with one mil wire, you get a totally different effect it, or a different size if you yeah. get it with the point. And then you can coil the coils yeah. and then you can thread things around the coils and through the coils. Oh. You can even put gemstones on wire. Beautiful. And then yes, coil I've seen that those round coil. as well. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's a great tool. It's a great tool for making jump rings. All uniformly you could the same size. You all those and yeah. have, you know, if you did Open jump rings there, one, ready to yeah, go. Absolutely. So yeah, I do find it a very handy tool. <laughs> Marvellous. Thank you, darling. Well, let's bring you the deluxe coiling gizmo, uh, QGZ7, sorry, QGZX79. It is a mere 7.95. 7.95. Wow. No serious wire met coiler or wire jewellery maker or wire worker should be without it, quite frankly. Oh, no. And the, the, the um, deluxe one actually clamps to your desk. Oh, yes. Or your table. Yeah. As well, which is brilliant. Fantastic. So you've got its own base clamp and then obviously the rod gauges. So you've got the clamp in there as well. Fantastic. Wonderful. And I will bring you up in a moment, my foam mats, because I know it's strange, but we could get asked a lot about the foam mats. So it's not that strange at all, really. Uh, but I'll bring you that in a moment. Do you want to, shall I bring it up now? We can bring, have the two on the screen. Let's do the foam mats now and then we can get on with our demonstration. <laughs> two. Sorry, darling. Two, no, it's sounds, fine, it's fine. We were laughing about gems pinging around the uh, room uh, earlier. Yes. You just just can't have enough of these. We get yeah. so many requests for for, for, for the foam mats. I'll I know it's on the website, but people forget. So this is what we've got on our workstation. I know we've got our uh, macrame mat here, or uh, what do we call this? Um, it is a macrame board. Yeah, the macrame it? board. Yeah. yeah. But when I'm over there, or we have these as well. It might be that you have several projects, or like with the mm. guitar earlier, you've got all your spirals laid out, and then another, you know, another part. You, you're working to the next project. You're doing the actual base. So it's just handy to have a few, you know. Um, or you might have projects ongoing and you've just reached an impasse so you just get inspired by something else. So it's good to have a few and it stops all those little gems bouncing off and damaging your table or getting lost because you've kind of got this velour sort of finish on the one side and obviously the foam to take the impact on, on the other. So whichever way you want to wear it or use it, I should say rather, it's up to you. But we just sort of have the softer sheen on the, on the top there to protect your gemstones and nice white background as well so you can clearly see the dynamics and the outline of your design. So two foam mats there basically. We'll get those on the screen. We'll put the wild wire deluxe coiling gizmo at the bottom and we'll have our foam mats at the top there. The other thing they're good for, I, I, I have different uh, mats. Um, I keep one clean because it's great for photographing things. Like ah, good idea. It's a nice keep one clean. clean 275. I think the 195 on the road, aren't they? Or is that the pink trays? I don't know. I think that's our pink trays. Yeah, that's a great idea. They make such a nice plain background that you can get to do just some lovely photos photographs. On the jewelry. Yeah, you're right. So you get the two, so you've got the base and the back. Mm. Keep it nice and clean, keep it wrapped up, put it in a nice plastic bag so it doesn't get all marked with sticky fingers or anything like that. And then, yeah. like you said, photographing your jewelry. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful idea, yeah. Because the ones I have on my desk, you know, you, you, you spill a bit of tea on it every now well, and then. Well, there's blobs and there's <laughs> dogs, isn't there? There's little children, there's dogs. It's and there's used all... a lot. <laughs> exactly, you see? Perfect, you see? And we'll get the wire deluxe gizmo at the bottom of your screen there as well. So we'll keep those on the screen while we carry on with our, okay. our harp. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's carry on with our harp. Okay. Thank you, darling, for pointing out the coiling moment. Right. So you want your coil, your, your gizmo coil, to be just long enough to fit in there. Have you gone a little bit longer by any chance or? 
Oh, um, it is bigger than the other one. It is. It is oh, right. This yeah. is the deluxe. But I mean, just, oh. just you just kind of get it right the right. Um, no, uh, no, just to get just, it the just right size. Do the thing. whole length. I've just trimmed this one. In fact, I think this was just yeah, happened to bigger, be the length. <laughs> this is this is this is yeah the bigger, the bigger size. But it's a bigger. It's a bigger. It is a bigger heart. It's a bigger yes, heart. Yeah. Right, so you just slip that over your upright one. Then you have to bend a little bit to get them in there. Oh, I see, so that's why. But then you can bend it back. Ah, yeah. Now there you get your tension by pulling down. Ah. And that will hold these in place and that in place. Okay, and then again, all we did at the top is bend it over and do our loop to hold it in place and now they're all secure now you can play with these and get them oh, yeah, better aligned better aligned especially if you've done them individually yeah you can level them out so that they're a lot tidier lovely okay and again this will this will bend mm. so you've got the facility so there's your basic heart now that is all I've done for the earrings Obviously, they were smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're extreme earrings. <laughs> I think I get earache. Um, that, that's it. That's all, that's all I did for the, for the earrings. And away you go. Brilliant. Obviously, tidy your bits of wire up that are sticking out. And then for our actual so, uh, harp, we've just strung. And then all we've done for the harp is the stringing and the base. Now, the stringing, I did use lengths because you can't go through. So cut a piece of wire off start at the base you've got five so you've got a middle one it's slightly off center because we had the extra one coming up yeah I'll show but that'll it, yeah. that'll even out you'll you'll not notice by the time you've tweaked them around yeah. a bit okay so you want to do a few wraps to anchor it uh, and I started at the top, up here. I started with the small bit. But remember then. Now I gapped it slightly because mm. I'd not get it through. So I made a gap so that I could feel it through. And I've thread it onto the middle one mm. of the five wires. Mm. And I'm pushing it. I'm not putting the, the front through, I'm basically pushing it through from the middle and pulling. Yes, yeah, much easier. Yeah, so you basically bend it through like that and then you can pull the loop and it, it's a lot better for getting no kinks. Yeah, just easier than taking the whole arm's length yeah. and trying to thread in. And um, now when you get to a smaller gap, you can't do that. You've no. got to feed it through. Yeah. But for something like this, it was great when we started. Now, there is a, a rhythm to doing it. Now, I'm... <laughs> Being a neat nick, that's not neat enough for me. But um, basically, what you do is you start at the top and you go down. You want to get to the middle one here, so you're going to sort of find your middle one to feed it through. And it doesn't matter if you come down to the bottom to feed it through, because you'll then just slide it up to the top and back. Because the top part of the harp is a lot longer than the angle bit. Mm -hmm. You need to do more wraps along this bit, along the, the broad bit, than you do across the wiggly bit on the top. If anybody does know what they're called, please let me know. Well, we started <laughs> looking up the harps anatomy and then Bruce the Dark Lord went off for a break, I think, so I never <laughs> go any interest. further than that. Yeah. Right, so as you can see, you've already got one starting. So I did one loop across the two, back round a loop around the middle, across the two, and then back up. <laughs> that sounds mighty I've got to be honest. L only because I wanted to keep it in a pattern. You could literally just wrap it round that central one. Okay. And that would be the easy way. You can make a pattern with it. If we just do, I would say you want to do three, four, at least four along the top to every three across the bottom or two okay so you do your two the only thing you do need to do is always have your wire coming up the same side at the top 
because they go from the middle and they're always on the same side on a harp ah. across the top. It's a bit like a guitar because they have the tensioning things all along one side. Right, okay. So I always made sure I came up the same side and then I'd do a couple on the top. You can, you can tweak it along as you go um, up, up the straight bit here a bit like the flat bit on the guitar. Yeah. We needed to do more wrap loops to keep the, ga the gap between the wire even. Um, but just play it by ear. If it looks okay. like it's getting tight, add yeah. another couple of loops in. Okay. And literally that's all you do all the way along. Wrap it at the top, take it down. And you could, like I say, simply do wrap it around the bottom, take it back up, wrap it around the top, take it down, wrap it around the bottom, all the way along. And then at the end of it you'll find these start getting out of sync yeah all you need to do is you come along with your Just nylon pliers and squash them back into shape in pinch, right and, and that's it oh base and then but you end up with a nice pattern like that it, it sticks out that side that sticks a bit proud yep and then if i turn it round it's kind of flat and on the inside. Yes, I understand what you meant now yeah. by the outside. So it just yeah. shows you, it, it is definitely on one side. There's a front yeah. and a back to it, yeah. that's all. And then our lovely peridots around the and base to give us our lovely stand, so it base. stands proud and upright. Yeah, all we did with that, I got a length of the one mil. Mm, one mil gone. Where's the darling, all right. And I made it two half moons so I, I worked my wire I made a half moon literally just by doing that and then when I thought it was big enough I flipped that over and then worked that back the other way so we had an inner half moon okay and then I crossed these when they go through I then put my peridot on the point four and wire wrap them round the same way as we did the ah, hole in the guitar. Yeah. That's all they're done. They're up. literally wire, wire wrapped round. And should we put, yeah. oh, you go. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. Darling, just, that's all right, <laughs> So that was our, round our first moon. Yeah. Then you've got the second moon. It's like a the little second stirrup. moon, yeah. And you can angle that to, to give it the balance. Yeah. The bigger the harp, the bigger the half moon you'll need. Because by the time you've got all the wire in it, it's actually quite a weight. Yes. So that top moon just stops it from flipping yeah, forward. Yeah. And then that the peridots around the bottom there that are wire wrapped, like you said, just give it the ballast. Yeah. And then you just put it through. Uh, that's the right way, isn't it? You put it through and then when you know what size it is, you can trim it down a bit to put it back through there to finish it off. Which, there we go. And then I've bent it. I put one through one way and one through the other way. Did you, can I ask a question? On, Did you, you put your peridots on, on first? Yes. You wire wrap those first and then yeah. you did this bit? Yeah. Right, okay, I, yeah. I put the peridots on and I wire wrap it. Easier, but yeah. And then I put them both through, which made it quite stiff. And then I'm gonna, I've done a smaller hole on this one, haven't I? I did put them both through. <laughs> and then I crossed it across the front. I've pulled that completely out of shape. I fed them both through there and then I bent it so that it went across the front of it and that I'm making a right hash of that I am sorry <laughs> <clears throat> basically I wanted those two to bend across there around the back or, 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 yeah yeah just to, to help it stand and then like I say you can move that one up or down to help you get that angle I'll just show everybody that now just, yeah any questions we'll just yeah we'll we'll get it answered for you as well on the website why is not playing for me today it's been naughty isn't it, <laughs> it i know darling and i'm I trying know. to rush because we've got all that to do yet no that's okay <laughs> that's all right darling oh is that what we're going to do we're going to have a look at some yeah. musical notes yeah yeah which any any particular because i love oh, 
Well, well, I love the fact that you mixed your copper wire there and your antique bronze there, darling. I, I did pinch a bit of copper. You could go to town on di different colours for that. You could really have a, a great play. You could have a Beautiful. right... Beautiful. Silver, gold. Mm. Or you could take one colour wire and go to town Those on multicolour gemstones. Yes, beautiful. You know, you could mix and match it. He's just jumped over himself there. There we go. You could keep it very elegant, have one colour wire with metal beads oh. to match or a, or a, a single colour bead. Really could go to town. Beautiful. Well, let's see how to make okay. our notes because it's a theme. Obviously, the and notes are through. on the actual musical yeah. note, denote uh, the paper, as it were. And then you've also got your free form notes. Yeah. Um, and I've also got my deluxe metal jig yeah. that might help. You could we'll make, you could use a jig. I'll get it up now then. Okay. I'll get it up now, and then we could also see the free form as well. So this is our deluxe metal jig to replicate the wire embe embellishments consistently. And it's the aluminium base. It's the bigger one, 10 by 13 millimetres. So it's been out of stock for a while, so we've got it back in now for you. JFZX62. With your rods as well to create your designs, whether you want to do your notes that way. And it's 19.95. Oh no, it's 9.95, even better. I'm selling it for 19.95. No, it's 9.95. So you can see it's the bigger jig. And I believe you can use this with your metal clay and your polymer clay for texture. Oh, yeah. yes, texture and print the holes, yeah. as it were. Yeah. Oh, what a good idea. So, oh, oh, yeah. Big jig there. That could, we could do on notes, but you're going to show us yeah. now anyway. Yeah. You, you could very easily do them because you, you'd use a small one to, to put the hole and take it up and go across. The only thing I'd say when you're doing the jib, jig, on these bits, it would be rounded. Yes. So you just need to tweak it with your pliers afterwards but yeah. you could churn those out on a jig like nobody's business could you do you reckon you could do one on the jig I've got yeah, the jig yeah, yeah yeah let's do it then break let's, it uh, let's break it out let's um break out the jig let's see the jig in action there you go my Thank darling you. talk about putting you on a spot oh no I, I, this is my jig this is your jig this is yeah. alison's oh, jig is i have one of these at home there we go darling you'll know what you need right so you want Four I've got B. The little, you don't want the plastic. Bits. No, no. The plastic. You know what the plastic bits are for? No. Right. I've not seen the deluxe until today. <laughs> when you put it through, yeah. You use the little plastic bits to go on the back to hold the hold them, them in jigs in place. place. There we go. You see, brilliant. That's what they're That's for. That's what they're for. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Every day's a lesson. <laughs> brilliant. Depending on how big your bead is, you could depend on how big and how big you want to do them. You could use a bigger. What's the name? We're going to use quite a small one. Uh, so we'd want to come around there. Uh, yeah, that'd be about right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll use those because it'll be easier to see. So we're going to make a very quick pattern. Oh, there's the slightly bigger ones. I knew there was. So I've put it. Um, the spacing it doesn't matter if it's you just want it vaguely regular let me swap that one for the same size there and i've off sent i've off offset them offside, slightly they, yeah yeah because you want it to come down and round and around yeah now if you wanted them to hang because those are very loose because i've literally just used the corner you could actually use the jig go round and make a little loop in each corner loop, yeah so and you've then got your attachment yeah, yeah brilliant yeah okay so I'm going to cut this off because otherwise I'll be going everywhere with the wire. But I would normally at home leave it on the on the reel. I would start somewhere around here. This was your lovely tip. I remember from the other week. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah. Dig it in. I would come give it an anchor. Round that. Over the top, and I'll show you in a minute, and then back round that one. Yeah. Okay, so that's an upside down one. Now, as you can see, it's quite I rounded. See. You don't want that curvy, you want yeah. straightness, don't you? So, if you take it off, well, Brilliant. you could have a funky, more well, hey, type yeah, exactly. of. <laughs> yeah, free forming. All I'd do with that is just tweak the corners. Yeah, so you get a, squa it. a squarer corner. But it's taken this, the strain out of actually creating them. I suppose and you then could hammer it, could you? You as well, could hammer yeah. it brilliantly I say that the wire when you hammer it can actually take on a slightly different color as well especially the copper 
um, and the antique bronze, it, it kind of flattens it a bit. I, I, I don't use the word dull, and it's not yeah. the right word. It kind of makes a shine finish more satin. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah finish. satin. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So there you go, and you've got a very quick and easy note. So if we wanted a uniform size, you know, I mean, we've done the big ones just so we can show yeah. you for demonstrations, but you can make it smaller with the smaller, yeah. with the smaller things, uh, pegs, and that's it. You could turn those out. Now, if you just did that, you've got a, a quaver. A quaver, yeah. <laughs> God, now I'm stretching. I know. <laughs> and if you put another piece of wire across, you can either fill it in or you can have the ones with just a we, wire. You could have lovely, yeah, and you've got your gems in yours, yeah. yeah. And then you can fill some in and some get left. Are they the semis that are yeah, left? Yeah, the full, the, yeah, the, the semis empty. and the whole ones, yeah. yeah. So you, you can play with that to the heart's content. But yeah, you could churn those out like mad to do a, a charm bracelet. Beautiful. Like I say, if you did them all in the same coloured wire, you could use a rainbow of, of gems. notes, of yeah. gems, to do the different notes. Beautiful. But that's the size I'd have probably done them for this charm necklace. Ah, yes. Really stand out. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd make them a bit bigger because they're quite, well, you could have them still dainty. I'm, I'm not very dainty, so. So yeah, I, I'd use the jig for that. No Brilliant, problem. thank you. Now what okay. else can we look at? We've right. got a pretty small wire. So we've, we've done our jig. We've done our jig. We'll do a semi-colon, semi-quaver, okay. semi uh, uh, treble clef. Treble clef, semi, yes, I like the treble clef. I'm going to bring them everybody some more wire. Um, but that was our, our deluxe jig there in action. Thank you very much, my darling. Um, now, this is my wire mega mix. Just while we pause for thought, just for a second. Um, it's a variation of all sorts of gauges. And, and, and we were just talking about a rainbow of colour of gems. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We could have our rainbow of colour with our um, wire. So, it's a mega mix. We want to mix and match? We want pink for the girls, blue for the boys, or who's to, who's to denote? Because blue's my favourite colour. So it's a bit of a lovely jamboree. So you're getting all of this in the in the bundle, am I right? So let's go for the bright blue, 0.4 and uh, 0.6 in the bright cobalt blue. One seems to be a little bit more navier, and the other one's sort of cobalt, isn't it? I think that's the different size, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the 0.8 and the, and the 0.4, it just gives it a different... You, it's like gemstones, when they cluster together, it yeah. deepens the look. Yeah. So the 0.4 looks like a different shade, but this is your cobalt blue, sort of navy, sort of navy blue. And then you've got your appetite blue, mm. um, that's your ca sort of Caribbean blue, that's the one millimetre, 10 metres there. In the turquoise they called it, even simpler. We've got the baby pink uh, 0.4, 100 metres. You've got the copper coloured wire 0 0.4, 10 metres. And you've also got the copper coloured wire 0 0.25, 15 metres. So we've got a range of lengths here and gauges. Uh, sort of like a little bit of a top-up bundle, if you like. And then we've also got, in the antique bronze, 10 metres of the 1 millimetre, 10 metres of the 1.5. So we've got 1 millimetre, 1 1.5 in the antique bronze. In the cobalt blue, you've got 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. In the turquoise, you've got 1 millimetre. In the baby pink, you've got 0 0.4, 100 metres. And then in the copper coloured wire, you've got 0.4, 10 metres and 15 metres of the 0.25. Did we get all of that? <laughs> Don't ask me to repeat it. Um, right, the price you should be paying, £49.60. It's a great little top-up though, isn't oh, it? That, all that, gauges, yeah. all different colours. And if you're starting out and you're not sure what colours you like, mm, or it's a nice that, experiment. It's a, it's a fab to experiment. Yeah, and mix in mixing the colours. Mm, Absolutely, those two. I know. Oh, or the tur or the turquoise um, with the yeah. Oh, all yeah, the brown and the, pink, and the chocolate. The pink and the cobalt actually. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. So we're not going to spend forty nine pounds sixty though. Almost, almost 50% off. MDGC 27, 27 pounds, 85 pence. For well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spools and those exciting colors and all those different gauges. So a great little, as Alison said, a great little uh, top up or experiment mm -hmm. with different colors, what works, twisting them together. It's lovely when you see those gizmos uh, mixed together, you know, those two colors as well. Once you start gizmo gizmoing, you'll never stop. Gizmoing and, and twisting. Oh. 
And you can bizno, gizmo your twisted wire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but even s stuff like, you know, the, the, the thicker gauges. I know not everyone has tried the thicker gauges. True, true. But even if you just started off, you can make such a simple torque necklace. Yeah. Just a, a quick choker torque yeah. that you can then hang stuff off. A pendant off or something, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Quick and simple. Definitely. Done. Even if you just started doing that, and then you start playing with it, doing like other said, things with it. Like said, twisting two wires and, doing yeah. a little bit of hammering on it you know mixing the different sizes together to get a different effect I love the fact we could just do what we've just done there with the notes we yeah. don't need any gemstones because we've got all the color of the wire yeah yeah all the different wires there to do our notes our musical bracelet um, but not necessarily need any gems even if we don't want to go that far so gorgeous right we'll leave that up on the screen for you and uh, we'll carry on okay. so we've got to go oh, we've got to do a semi quaver uh, uh, <laughs> you want it now <laughs> What are we going to do, Alison? Treble clef. Treble clef. Treble clef. clef. This is the treble clef. If you think, what are they all gibbering on about? There you go. There's our treble clef. Let's do it. It's a lot better than ones I draw, that's for sure. <laughs> so we want to do a coil. A, co a coil. You start off with your spiral. Now I tighten that a little bit. There you go. Now, there is a, a, a wrong way and a right way to do it. Okay. I, I'd started doing um, something else with on and went the wrong way. Whoop. What do you mean in terms of your twisting? I know yeah, I'm chucking things off the table it now. Comes, Throw me dolly out the it pan. It comes up that way. There's a, the, I'll show you when I've done it because if you turn it around, it's the wrong way. I, and you're trying to show and it I'd, to camera as well. Yeah, so and yes. I'd started wrapping gems on it. And the same with this. Oh, the, there's a right way. Almost, they yes. go that way. They don't go that that's way. That's right. Yes, it's true. But they do go that way. <laughs> yes, that's true. Above so, the line. Yeah. So you need to you need to think about which side you're wrapping it's your gems on. It's showing on yeah on the wrist or on the necklace. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. So we've Bracelet. got our coil. We're then going to go up. Things you have to think about. <laughs> when you get to, you don't want it massive. They don't come up massive. So you sort of do a nice little curve, and then I'm going to use my thumb to do quite a sharp bit down and when we're, we're nearly there then we're going to snip the bottom off so you can do a decent sized coil at the um, hole at the bottom and I want to put a gem in it so I'm going to do it right at the bottom of my pliers because I know that will fit one of the um, well it'll fit both of the gems really the peridots or the quartz yeah, it, the quartz will sit quite nicely on top of there now That's the right way to me, so it's that way. Because <laughs> I'm facing away. Yeah, it's like it's a mirror, isn't it? Um, and what I've done to secure it. That's a beautiful brooch. I'm, I'm loving that as well. A little that's, pair of earrings. That's a or... very simple, quick and easy brooch. You could do, you, you just yeah. need to put a bit of a I brooch back on the back and you're done. Or a couple of pairs of earrings. You love do those. Before I steal it, Ollie. <laughs> Put a little, a little, <laughs> a little hook on there and you've got a pair of earrings. Uh, uh, um, Filippo's saying a lovely tie pin. You could have a, a fat money tie clip. pin. Yeah. Not that we've got do you any know money. What? But, I was yeah. thinking of tie pins the other day and thinking, oh, I could do some stuff with tie pins. Yeah, that would be a Still beautiful alive, tie sorry. pin for a guy. Um, and I've yeah. only got about 30 of the multicolored wire bundles left, just to okay. warn you. So that's your treble clef. 20 now. The bead, again, the same as I've done the others, four mil wire, wrap it round a few times. I didn't show you the others, did I? No, no, we haven't made, we didn't get to that. We've been the yakking too the much. <laughs> right, cut it off the roll first, because the roll won't fit through the hole. I try and have it so that the bit that's going to go through the bead comes round the outside of the wire, rather than coming up through the middle, just so that it, the bead will sit better. I see. So, so it sits in the little it curve. It comes up that way on yes. the outside, rather than coming through the middle and then coming out right. through the bead and back in yeah. again. Okay? It's kind of hidden that way yeah. then, isn't it? So put your tail in, hold it in place. You want to do three or four wraps. Okay, all goes quiet. At least I'm not sticking my tongue out like I do when I, uh, when I do cutting material. Uh, Filippo said another, he's full of the ideas this afternoon. Okay. Um, a lovely little paper clip so you know where you are musically and you're playing or anything, oh, you just to hold your music open. If you haven't got your music stand. Yeah. If you didn't hook it through there, you could because oh, it would fit through there. Oh, yeah. We're all going to make one now. <laughs> Come on, then. 
Yeah, you're gonna make one now. <laughs> I've got to copy you. What did she do again? What did Alison do again? We right, started off we'll do one together. We'll do one right, together. I've just wrapped it round there and I'll snip that off. And then and I'll get me end and that's about it. No, you won't. You'll do it fine. Got me end. That's it. A pair of wires. <laughs> We've each got a piece of... Right. Right. This one, the, the start bit's quite loose. Uh -huh. So maybe halfway down. Halfway start. down, yeah. Curl it round. Just pull your wire round. And you can tighten it up. Just pull it from the end. This end? Yeah, because you're not trying to force it round from there. You're just pulling the wire and letting it go into a coil. That's it. Mine's a bit of a rubbish coil. Take it off and then you can just tighten it up. My coil's a bit... That's fine. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. Now you want it coming up from the bottom, up the left-hand side. There. Yeah? So it's coming from the bottom that's it yeah keep your coil coming and then you're gonna curl it that way and at the top of the curl now hold on you've twisted where have we gone now at the top of your come up here put yeah. your put your thumbnail in there return around that yeah, way yeah yeah hold on now right the other that's it yeah that's the right way so you're going to put your thumbnail on there <laughs> to bend the wire to, to that's it yeah just push it quite far in so you're pushing it down on your that's it yeah come down mine's a bit big I've left Along myself much of an end well, don't mind. well all you're gonna do yeah tweak is, is, is to push that down a bit because you've got nice curve so you can just feed it round the curve almost a little bit I've got quite a sharp bit so it won't my curves a bit wonky to be honest she's been very kind that's all right ish that's Yours fine. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And then you don't want masses at the end, so trim your end. tail a bit. So you've got a couple of inch, a uh, couple of inches, a couple of centimeters. There you go. Yeah. So let's have a look at your bottom. There you go. Now you've got enough there. Yeah. And you're going to curl it. Mm. Right. Hold it upside down. Hold it upside down. So that the curly bits towards you. Yeah. Turn it towards you. That's it. Yeah. Put the wire in right to the end of the pliers and turn it away from you. That's it. Let go and turn. When you let go. Yeah. Right. You turn so far. I'm making all the mistakes here for you. No, no. <laughs> Open your pliers, but don't take them out. Just turn your pliers back around, close it, and then it's in the same place and you can carry on turning. Yeah, but I haven't got the hang of that. Okay. We'll just turn it a bit further. There you go. Perfect. Oh, okay, yes. Pull it out now. There you go. Hey! Well, I'm the right way? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Fantastic. That's all right when Alison's next. <laughs> <laughs> How good was that? That's brilliant. You're brilliant. She's a great there tutor. We need to come in and do this workshop with her. <laughs> What's your next workshop? 10th of February. 10th of February. Oh, best book to I don't know. I, haven't, I don't I haven't know. Seen we Wendy need to yet. check. I just met a lady out there who's coming on it. So oh, lovely! I, I'm not sure. I'm not That's not our uh, so Debbie Bulford, is it? And uh, it might be. Uh, Nan's Natalia, because it, they're on the workshop, the first book workshop. They are today. with um, with Hannah. <laughs> yeah, lovely Hannah. No well, pressure there, Hannah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm going to take my little double cleft home. That's just gorgeous. Put that on the music. Yeah. Put that on the piano. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Just, do you want to quickly do the yeah. what I've done for the five bars? Well, we've got about two minutes. Right, well, it's dead quick. It's dead quick. If we do, grab us the necklace, because you'll see it easier. Yeah. Okay. You'll see it very easily on there. Right, so all I did, very similar to the base of the, the harp, I cut five strips. Yep. Put a loop around the end of each one. Yep. And then, then I got uh, my yes. extra piece, exactly the same way as the harp, and I put... I thread it through, put a bead, thread it through, put a bead, thread it through, put a bead, thread it through. The base of our harp did that, yeah. Exactly the same as the base of the harp. Yeah. And then for the other side, I trimmed them all to the same length and did the same and put them through. And that's your five bar that you attach everything to. Simple Fantastic. as that. Fantastic. So we made our notes and yeah. then we just put them on there. Now, because I had the, the what's this called? Findings kit. Yes, that we reduced. <laughs> we did. Yeah. yeah, we reduced with our gemstones, the quartz and the peridot. So I had, a, it, it's a very generous kit, 
but I didn't have enough beads to go mad for this for this bracelet. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I used my gizmo, and if you look closely in here, I've got a chopped up piece of gizmo coil Brilliant. as separators. I've literally chopped done about gizmo. three coils, each one as, as separators. Any and questions? Any questions? Let us know. Ed is going to take over for the last hour of the show. Alison's going to be with us because don't forget she's got the Amazonite and the pearls and all those other goodies as well. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for watching. Uh, we've got another hour of the show with the lovely Ed. Bye.